commutative property. Rima has five red roses and her friend Nena has 12 yellow roses. They decided to put these roses in a flower vase. Rima put her flowers first and then Nana put her flowers. So there are in total 5 plus 12 equal to 17 roses in the flower vase. If suppose Nana would have put her flowers first in the vase, then also the total number of roses in the flower vase is 12 plus 5 equal to 17. So we see that even after interchanging the position of the addends, we get the same sum. This property is named as commutative property. Let us understand if commutative property holds true for integers. For example, a minus 7 plus 3 is equal to minus 4. After interchanging the addends, we get the same sum. 3 plus minus 7 is equal to 3 minus 7 is equal to minus 4. B. Minus 10 plus minus 34 is equal to minus 10 minus 34 is equal to minus 44. After interchanging the addends, we get the same sum. Minus 34 plus minus 10 is equal to minus 34 minus 10 is equal to minus 44. Thus, we see that for every pair of integers, the sum does not change if they are added in different orders. If we generalize this, we get property 1, which says, if a and b are any two integers, then a plus b is equal to b plus a. We can also say, commutative property holds true for integers under addition. The next two properties of integers that is related to addition are additive property and inverse property. We know that when we add 0 to any integer or any integer to 0, we always get the same integer as a sum. This is called additive property. For example, minus 4 plus 0 is equal to minus 4. 0 plus minus 8 is equal to 0 minus 8 is equal to minus 8. Here, 0 is called the additive identity, which means on adding 0 to any integer, the integer does not change its identity and remains the same as sum. In general, we get property 2, which says, if a is an integer, then a plus 0 is equal to 0 plus a is equal to a. Let us understand what is additive inverse. In an integer number line, we see that every negative integer has its positive value on the right of 0. Similarly, every positive integer has its negative value on the left of 0. For example, since 4 and minus 4 are at equal distances from 0, so 4 is the opposite of minus 4. Same way, 3 and minus 3 are opposites. 9 and minus 9 are opposites. Now, let us see what happens when we add such opposites. Adding opposites 7 and minus 7. In this integer number line, the arrow is at 7. To add minus 7, we have to move 7 steps towards left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. We reach at 0. Thus, plus 7 minus 7 is equal to 0. Let us see another example. Adding opposites minus 3 and 3. The arrow is at minus 3. To add plus 3, we move 3 steps towards right. 1, 2 and 3. We reach at 0. Thus, minus 3 plus 3 is equal to 0. So, we found that when we add two opposites, we always reach at 0. Thus, the additive opposite or additive inverse of 5 is minus 5. Additive inverse of minus 1 is 1 and so on. If we generalize this, we get property 3, 
which says the sum of any integer and its opposites is 0. That is a plus minus a is equal to 0 minus a plus a for every integer a. Here minus a is called the additive inverse of a. Subtraction of integers is not commutative. For example, 7 minus 8, which is minus 1, is not equal to 8 minus 7, which is 1. Also, for every integer 1, a, a minus 0 is equal to a, but 0 minus a is not equal to a. This means identity property does not hold true for integers under subtraction.